Chapter 3 Safety and First Aid Accidents may happen anytime, anywhere, without giving us any warning. We often get hurt at home, in school, playground or on the road. Most of the accidents occur due to our carelessness. We can avoid most of the accidents by following safety rules. Safety at home Slipping on the floor A wet floor is dangerous and can harm you. You can slip or fall on wet floor easily. To avoid such accidents, follow these safety rules. Keep the floor dry. Floors of kitchen and bathroom should not be slippery. Never leave your toys on the floor or stairs. You can trip over your toys. Never try to reach something beyond your reach. Fire in the kitchen Accidents due to the fire in the kitchen can cause serious injury. To avoid such accidents, follow these safety rules. In case of a gas leakage, open the doors and windows to let the gas out. Do not light matchsticks or turn on electric switches at the time of gas leakage. Never try to pick up anything over a burning gas stove. Never wear synthetic clothes in the kitchen. They catch fire easily. Do not play with things made of glass. They can break easily and cause cuts and wounds. Electric shocks. Electrical appliances are very useful to us, but they can be dangerous when handled carelessly. To avoid electric shocks, follow these safety rules. Never touch an electrical gadget or switch with wet hands or barefooted. Do not go too close to heaters or table fans. When they are on, turn off the switches before touching them. Never touch a damaged wire. When someone gets an electric shock, turn off the main switch immediately. Poisoning. Poisoning is also a common kind of accident at home. To avoid such accidents, follow these safety rules. Never eat any medicine unless your parents or a doctor gives it to you. Do not eat stale, spoilt and exposed food. It can cause food poisoning. All poisonous chemicals should be kept away from eatables and reach of the children. Safety in the playground. We must be very careful while playing. We should follow these safety rules in the playground. Do not push or hit each other while playing. Do not play rough games. Stay away from the swings when someone is using them. Do not jump from the seesaw without informing your partner. Safety in school. We should follow these safety rules to avoid accidents in school. Do not rush or push each other, especially on the stairs. Do not jump on the benches. Do not throw things in the class. Safety on the road. Most accidents on the road are the result of careless driving and carelessness of the pedestrian. We should follow these safety rules on road. Always walk on the footpath. Always cross the road at a zebra crossing. When there is no zebra crossing, look first to your right, then left, and then to your right again. When no vehicle is coming, then cross the road. Never cross a road behind a parked vehicle. Always follow the traffic lights. First aid. The immediate help given to an injured person before the doctor's arrival is called first aid. First aid plays an important part in our everyday life, at home, in school or in playground. Everyone should learn about first aid. The injured person should be taken to a doctor after giving first aid. Different types of injuries need different types of first aid. First aid tips for cuts and wounds. Wash your hands 
thoroughly before giving first aid to the injured person. For deeper cut, remove all the dirt from the wound and clean the skin around it with small pads of cotton soaked in an antiseptic lotion like Tetol. Tie the bandage. Just put a band-aid for minor cut. For burns, to treat minor burn, keep the burnt area under cold running water. Put an ice pack on the burnt area for a few minutes. Apply an antiseptic cream like Burnol on the burnt part. For insect bites, to treat insect bite, put a paste of baking soda and cold cream on the affected area. Place ice cubes over affected area. Apply calamine lotion in case of itching. If a person faints, when a person faints, make him or her lie down with the head at a level lower than the body. It allows rapid blood circulation towards the brain. Allow fresh air around the person. Sprinkle cold water on his face and loosen his clothes. For nose bleeding, in case of nose bleeding, pinch the nose for 7 to 8 minutes and lean slightly forward till bleeding stops. Put a cold wet towel on the face. The mouth should be open so that the person can breathe through mouth. First aid box. We all must have a first aid box in our homes and schools. The first aid box should contain an antiseptic lotion like Dettol, gauze and cotton pads, a pair of scissors, band-aids, crepe bandage, antiseptic cream, methyl spirit and sticky tape. 